is a delightful stand-up comedian who now stars in Star Trek Discovery. Please welcome Tig Notaro. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you. The last time we were together was not on the show, but people we had a, we had a surprise meeting. <laughs> we did. Yeah. I, uh, well, I took a train from DC. I was going to New York. And... Me too. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Should we end there? <laughs> it would be daring. Well, when I got on the train, I got into that uh, car. The woman working, she said, "You know, sit wherever you want. We're uh, we're pretty light tonight." There was no one else on the car but you. Right, and then I heard one other person shuffle in, and um, and then I saw out of the corner of my eye that they were going to sit across the aisle from me, and I was like, "Oh my God, this whole <laughs> car is empty. Must <laughs> must you sit right there?" And uh, and then I looked over, and um... <laughs> we were we were the only two people on the car. But then we sat there and we talked for like two hours and forty five minutes. It was just delightful. I know. I told people that you and I were the two. Only ones on that ride, and they were like, "That must have been insane." <laughs> and we just showed each other videos of our children. That's exactly right. <laughs> How's your family? Speaking of, of kids and fam, uh, they're great. Um, yeah. Yep. My my sons will be three in June, and. Um, oh, that's oh. So you still got the twos? You still got the? We're still in the twos right now. Uh, yes, and. I thought you thought maybe I got rid of one. <laughs> I, I, I still have the two. two. So you still stay with the two, really? Yeah, I, okay. I, I, <laughs> yeah, I've uh, kept them. Because uh, do do you believe in the terrible two thing? Like, are are are, are your children terrible? I refuse to say it. We do have some tough times, but I refuse to say terrible twos. Tough time twos. Tough time twos. <laughs> uh, My theory is that people who say terrible twos have never had a three-year-old. <laughs> Because attitudinally, they're the same, but they're stronger. <laughs> or uh, a 16-year-old. I would imagine it gets difficult. Um, I'm, I still have teenagers, so legally, I'm not allowed to say anything. Uh, <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, my wife and I, we work together, and we usually leave the house uh, when we go to work, and then we come back together and one day we were working separately and the alarm on our house will say front door open or side door open and I came home alone one day and when I walked in the side door it said side door open and the boys were both yelling they call Stephanie mommy and they were saying mommy's home mommy's home yay mommy's home and I came around the corner and my son Finn looked back at me and then he turned to Max and he said, it's just her. <laughs> so maybe it is terrible too. <laughs> wow. I wow. laughed so hard. That's really good. <laughs> Differentiating who they like at that age is very advanced. Yeah. Very advanced. You should feel good about that. Yeah. Um, so you're now in T Star Trek Discovery. I am. And, and uh, which is something I'm... A little jealous of, a little jealous of. I'm a big fan of that whole universe. Were you? Did you grow up as a, as a big fan of the Star Trek uh, continuum? I mean, I I was into it when I was in elementary school, and I had all the action figures that I carried in my briefcase to school. <laughs> briefcase? Uh huh. Your yeah. attaché? Yeah. Uh huh. I remember I wanted my stepfather's briefcase, and uh, when he was getting rid of it, and I was like, oh, this is gonna be great, and put all. <laughs> put all my action figures in and went to school. Uh -huh. Had no idea I wasn't cool. Um, <laughs> but, um, but 
But yeah, it's it's a uh, it's a good time being on the show. I, I I never I didn't imagine my stand up would you know send me to outer space. Well, you're an engineer. You're an you're an engineer. In this. Uh, on the show. On the show. On the show. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Far from one in real life. Uh -huh. um, we have a clip here. It's you. Uh, you're in the sick bay. Uh, do you, do you want to set this up in any way, or do you... Yeah, sure. I'm in the sick bay. <laughs> professional. That's a professional right there. Jim? I need medical attention. Commander. You have a, uh... Repair team. Please report to death. Hangnail. It hurts like a bitch, and it's one of two things currently impeding my work. And, uh, what is the second thing? An idiot. He came back from the dead, and his name rhymes with poo. I'm an engineer, not a poet. Really? Ow! the hell was that? Medical attention. Uh -huh. I really believed you had a hangnail. I really believed you had a hangnail. Well, really yeah. You sold that. Yeah, I'm, I'm quite the actor. Take it was good to see you. Thanks so much. Star Trek Discovery is on CBS All Access. She has a show at Largo in LA on Sunday. Take the caro, everybody. We'll be right back, or whatever your name is.